Good morning. I'm Roger Boyer here in my empty office with my Friday outfit on, and I want to welcome you to the 2020 Utah Real Estate Challenge. All of the submissions this year have been terrific and of professional quality. And today we're going to focus on the three finalists and uh, get a few winners here and and reward them accordingly. I want to thank uh, especially our sponsors, our judges. We have an organizing committee and a couple of names I'd like to mention. Deborah Hansen, Michelle Barber, Carolyn Botino, David Bauman, Rachel Sandorf, and Flynn Dawson. Flynn is our director of the Ivory Boyer Real Estate Center. Notice it's always Ivory first, of course. But I'm going to turn the time over now to Flynn, who will tell you more about the challenge for today. Thank you, Roger. We are excited to be in our 13th year of the Utah Real Estate Challenge. And we're excited to bring it to you this time in a digital format. Uh, we think this is really exciting. And it really helps us with our initiative at the Ivory Boyer Real Estate Center, which is to elevate the level of professionalism in the real estate industry in the state of Utah. And the way that we accomplish this is through experiential learning opportunities. And this Utah Real Estate Challenge is really a hands-on real world application, giving students who apply and students who participate in the challenge the opportunity to be judged by real world consultants and professionals on their workup of a specific site that we choose. So this really fosters collaboration. It fosters students working together from different disciplines, from different majors, and from different walks of life, focusing on one specific site to help them learn what it's going to be like in the real world when they're in the development and real estate business. And, and now I want to focus some of our discussion on the judging. We've really picked a wonderful judging panel and all of that has been brought together by Dave Bowman. And I'm gonna turn the time over to Dave and let him talk more about our judging. Dave? Thank you, Flynn. My name is David Bauman with CBRE, a commercial real estate company. I'm happy to be here supporting the Utah Real Estate Challenge. My role in this was to help coordinate the judging. We have 17 wonderful judges uh, chosen who are volunteering their time. They bring expertise from a wide range of fields, including development, capital markets, architecture, government, and education, insurance, investment, and brokerage. They are providing the students with a real world opportunity um, and experience and offering really valuable advice. The judges convened in round one in the founder's room of the Zions Bank building to listen carefully uh, to each team and to analyze their written materials as well as their presentation. Uh, based on the judging criteria which we developed with different real estate professionals in the community, that is indicative of the emphasis that investors would place on real estate investment opportunities. This judging team selected three finalist teams. And then these, these three final teams presented their written and video recorded presentations electronically this year due to COVID which was the first time we've done this. Uh, the judges then were able to listen to those presentations, read the final proposals and score and rank them. Judging was anonymous and average scores selected the winner. Importantly, judges were able to provide commentary which included encouragement for the students and also some critical feedback to help the students get the most out of the competition. So with that, I will pass it over to Natasha to present the top three finalists. Thank you, Dave. I am Natasha Allard. I'm with PEG Companies, and we're excited to be part of this event. During this COVID-19 crisis, it's a pleasure to be involved virtually with our Utah academic and real estate development community. I'm honored to host the finals this year. I owe being recruited for my current job and a few extra dollars in my pocket for my team winning this event last year. So I do not envy the position the teams are in right now. I know they have put hundreds of hours into their proposals and it's a lot easier being on this side of the camera than on the, on the side that our team is on. So I hope you all can appreciate the commitment, ingenuity and expertise behind these presentations. 
So before we jump into the presentations, I wanted to share a little background on the site. In the past, contestants have proposed their own development site to the UREC committee, but we wanted to remove all bias from judging and propose a single site. So everyone is developing on the same site. So judging is solely on the development and financial aspects of it. So sound creativity goes a long way. This year, the site was proposed and generously offered by Ivory Development. It's in the heart of downtown Salt Lake. So on the corner of 200 East and 300 South, known as the 2B district um, off Broadway. The site currently hosts a variety of well-known established retail tenants. So this required our students to be creative in tenant mitigation throughout the whole development timeline. The UREC committee thought this would be the perfect site you know, presenting copious scenarios for our teams to play with for their project. Because we weren't able to host the final event live, we asked teams to submit a 10 minute video to the judges. So for brevity's sake, we've cut that down to two minutes. So videos are shown in no particular order. We chose the order back in February. And without further ado, let's enjoy their presentations. Take a look. Edison Place offers a diverse, unique product with connected solutions organized around a strong public ground plane. We discovered architectural, economic, and parking solutions that are deployed to support these various spaces. The guiding development principles are to ensure an appropriate level of density in a multi-use retail residential environment. We also want to be consistent with the downtown Salt Lake City Master Plan and to create market rate and affordably priced options. Our solution is a 190,000 square foot development consisting of a 12-story tower on top of a five-story podium with an additional five-story multi-use structure. Strategic green space connects and enlivens the surrounding area. Edison Tower is a $51 million development with an 11.8% first year cash on cash return and a 17.58% 10-year IRR. Due to the large size of the city blocks in the area, the Salt Lake City Master Plan has identified various opportunities to expand the mid-block pedestrian network. Our site sits on the edge of this growing network, and currently the proposed 255 South State Street project, immediately adjacent to the west, proposes to extend the mid-block network east from Galvin Plaza. By incorporating and extending this through our site, we provide direct human-scale connections to Galvin, Regent Street, Main Street, City Creek, and beyond. Because form follows function and high density in Utah requires parking, we're legally required to screen the parking in downtown. The Prescient system that we're using can only go 12 stories alone, so we place that over our parking to gain height. And we screen parking with housing, which contributes to the community safety by having eyes on the street with balconies and windows facing all sides. Our tower portion above the podium is a more contemporary glass curtain wall design. However, when you are on the ground plane at the screen level, you only see the architectural solutions that mimic the surrounding neighborhood styles. Key to our strategy is to maintain the DABC as a solid tenant. We want to attract the Trader Joe's grocery store as an amenity for our residents and the community. And we want to ensure that Ken Sanders' iconic bookstore remains in the neighborhood. We propose all electric units, radiant heat, green roof systems, smart monitoring, a vehicular charging within the parking garage, bike storage options, predominantly east-west oriented building for maximum southerly sun exposure for passive solar gain in the winter, East star appliances, double pane windows, as well as a variety of other options to help us achieve lead certified gold. The project utilizes retail as an amenity and offers deeply discounted rates for several of our tenants, including Ken Sanders' rare books. The project has been underwritten conservatively using real world rent and by utilizing conservative apartment and retail cap rates. We believe that Edison Place is an incredibly creative solution to a lot of the issues facing Salt Lake City. Not only is it providing a beautiful and unique space for its residents, it is improving the neighborhoods surrounding Edison Street, as well as creating a sustainable economic and architectural future for the city of Salt Lake City. We are Disc Development, and this year we put together something really special. Our project was the Edison Tower. Cole and myself brought together all of the finance experience. Karsten brought all of our architectural and design, and Scott put a lot of work into site planning. This year for the competition, we crammed ourselves into a tiny office, all together for 15-hour days, put together something really special. 
The Edison Tower is a mass timber real estate development that includes multifamily office and some really creative ground floor retail uses. It is different from the surrounding environment, A, because it's a mass timber building, but B, because it also incorporates new design into the downtown Salt Lake area. Mass timber creates a biophilic space that is appealing for residential and office tenants alike and is much more sustainable. It also has a much faster construction timeline than steel due to its prefabrication capability, saving about 20% overall. Mass timber allows us to do unique things with the interior and exterior design. There's exposed wood on the exterior of the building paired with floor to ceiling windows. Many open spaces have been incorporated into the exterior of the building, creating an urban oasis on the top of our buildings. While they're offering this claim to be environmentally efficient in niche ways, the Edison Tower will be the first example of a truly progressive living space in Salt Lake City. The development will be LEED and WELD Platinum eligible, but we will not pursue these accolades due to their high expense. We achieve these by combining energy efficient appliances, innovative material sourcing, renewable energy usage via solar, biophilic indoor spaces, and a myriad of other factors. As far as construction, we are electing to phase out our timeline. The residential tower will be phase one and office and retail will be phase two. This way we can be finding office tenants during the construction of the residential portion. And the project is expected to generate a 10-year levered IRR of 18.07%, a net present value of about $10 million, and a five-year cash on cash of 9.4%. To wrap things up, Edison Tower is the ideal development for the 2B site. It combines an innovative, appealing design with attractive returns. It really is the highest and best use for the site and creates a distinct identity for a historic corner. We are TED Partners. Our concept is called Eden on Broadway, a mixed-use residential development in the heart of the Central Business District. On this 1.2-acre site, Eden on Broadway will be comprised of a one-level subterranean parking garage, 26,000 square feet of ground floor retail, including a state liquor store, and five floors of luxury residential apartment units, connecting demand for high-end retail residential space to walkability within the growing area of downtown Salt Lake. The goal of the project is to create an upscale residential retail hub and to bring people to a place where classic beauty meets modern convenience. Our unit mix gives the renter the opportunity to find their needed comfort. Our corner location gives Eden the advantage of being the center of urban living and attraction. With four distinct unit layouts with amazing courtyard or mountain views, our target market can rest easy and have a community they can be a part of. Our target demo for this project are young professionals and students living in the downtown area. We believe this is the right persona for us to pursue, as over a quarter of the population living in our area are current students. Now, on the micro level, our building is designed to take advantage of this, of the demand in both the retail and the apartment space and create a synergy. With the liquor store in the bottom left, the restaurant in the bottom right, and the apartments above, uh, desiring to be close to those things, they'll be able to build off one another and create even more demand. To finance the cost of this project, we additionally negotiate with local prominent loan officers to achieve attractive loan terms for both our construction and Freddie Mac approved permanent loan, which boasts a seven year interest only rate. Based on our long-term hold of 10 years, we expect to achieve returns of an almost 20.29% IRR, 8.3% cash on cash yield, and a whopping 2.93X equity multiple. Additionally, we project a 6.77% stabilized yield cost on the project, providing a sizable spread with current cap rates trading at approximately 5.25. In conclusion, after careful analysis, Eden on Broadway will yield safe, strong returns with minimal risk. With an incredibly desirable location, you couldn't ask for a better project. Thank you. Thank you teens for your superb presentations and being flexible with our updated competition format. I'd like to see any of these downtown developments activating Salt Lake City. Next up, I'd like to introduce Clark Ivory who would be announcing our third place winner. Thank you, Natasha. This is such a fabulous opportunity for students. I can't think of anything better than coming together with fellow students and professionals in our industry and learning in a hands-on experience on a site that's real and with all kinds of potential. And I do have to say something about Roger. You know, Raj, if you want it to be the Boyer Ivory Real Estate Center, 
I'm 100% in. It just seemed to roll off the tongue a little easier, Ivory Boyer Real Estate Center. But you're the man. I would always defer to you. So let's do it that way. Um, I, I, I now have the opportunity to announce the third place winner. The third place winner is Team Ted with Eden on Broadway from BYU. Congratulations. Woo! Oh, nice. awesome. <laughs> Great. Awesome. I'm so awesome. happy for you guys. This is yeah. like, this is your first time in this competition, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. First time. That, that's incredible. A lot of teams were in the previous rounds and you've made it. So tell me how you feel. I feel great. <laughs> that's that's great. Really awesome. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I I loved your project, and I'm also really excited about your team because all of you are from BYU, mm -hmm. Correct. and you're kind of the trailblazer of teams from BYU. We haven't had a BYU team in a number of years, so I, I had a few questions if you could, you know, you'd mentioned that you assembled a diverse team. So please tell me about the diversity on your team and how you feel this contributes to your chance of winning the competition. Yeah, so on our team, we all, since we all come from BYU, the thing with BYU is it doesn't have uh, a set emphasis or track or major really for real estate. So we all kind of had to assemble ourselves just from different uh, places in the university, three of us our MBA students, uh, two of us are undergrads. And so other than, you know, two of us, none of us have met each other before this began. We kind of threw ourselves together um, just by asking around like, who would want to do this? Who would want to do this? And so we have, uh, you know, two uh, we have a marketing emphasis as myself from the MBA, uh, an entrepreneur emphasis, uh, supply chain, and then we have two undergrads who are in construction management and uh, finance and accounting. And we all just had an interest in real estate. None of us had done something like this before. So we just met one day and started off. The first time we met each other was the kickoff <laughs> meeting. See, I love that because a lot of people don't know for this competition, it requires a diverse background from all team members, because you're pooling from, like you said, marketing, you need people who understand architects and just financing, but also the cost. You know, mm -hmm. you may be a wizard with numbers, but you may not understand costs. So it's, I love that you've got MBAs and construction, um, and then you need that entrepreneur, you know, who, who stays positive through those numbers when they're not what you want. So that's great. Okay, final question. What was the most challenging aspect of this project? Um, honestly, for our team, the most challenging aspect is none of us had done something like this before. Uh, I literally had to get a Photoshop trial to put some stuff together. Um, Brock taught himself how to do the rendering as we went. Like everything we did was a first time attempt. And so <laughs> everything from going down to get the filming. Anyone else. But yeah, and so like everything we did was our first shot. And so, you know, looking into, you know, just parking or permitting, first time any of us had done that, looking into, you know, putting together a full underwriting report for a building like this, uh, first time anyone had done that. Uh, none of us have any experience in retail space. And so everything we did was an absolute first. And so that's kind of the biggest challenge for our team. Well, I and mean, you won. That's yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. And, you know, I would encourage everyone to look at their project and proposal because I love it. And I think it would be great, a great project to activate downtown. So, you know, congrats. Way to go, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> now I'm going to turn the time over to Randy Woodbury, who will be announcing our second place winner. Thanks, Natasha. I am Randy Woodbury, President and CEO of Woodbury Corporation. Just over 100 years ago, F. Warren Woodbury, my grandfather, founded Woodbury Corporation. He built a reputation on honesty, integrity, and hard work. He believed in real estate as a profession and worked to build educational programs and professional designations. He proudly served the real estate community in many different roles. We are honored to continue his legacy 
and do our part to serve and promote the next generation of real estate developers by supporting the Utah Real Estate Challenge. Now it's my pleasure to announce the second place winner of the 2020 Utah Real Estate Challenge. CCSQ with Edison Place. Well done, guys. Well done. Yeah. You guys did awesome. That was. That was great. It was a great experience. Uh, does it feel good to know? It does. It does. <laughs> and uh, it's, been, it's great to have it over with. It was, I mean, we put a lot of work into it and we're proud of what we were able to accomplish. So Absolutely. Second place is great. Exactly. Yeah. Money helps out too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm really excited about you guys, and I loved your proposal, Edison Place, and I thought it activated the downtown area like amazingly. Um, I have a few questions, and I want to tell everyone about your team. So you have two Emirates from the University of Utah, and two from Utah State. So they've been doing Zoom meetings for the past three weeks or three months yeah. during this whole process. So. This isn't new to them. So I think it's incredible the synergy that they were able to do being so far apart. So um, diving into your project, um, I wanted to ask some specific questions that you focused on connectivity. And you know, talk to me more about the mid-block walkway and the plazas and why you felt this was important in your project. Well, connectivity was like key to our project. And so we really wanted to take advantage of the mid-block walkway that's on Edison. And also through our project, we've got a, a path that goes through our project, has a plaza, so it connects really second east to Gallivan, essentially through that project, but also it facilitates people connecting there in that plaza. We thought that was really important for us. That's great. And your project had a great like luxury element with amazing amenities. I mean, sign me up. So <laughs> what specific components of your project are you most excited about? Well, we know Salt Lake City is growing and that higher end, high amenity apartments are really in high demand. And so we knew we wanted to, to pro provide that. Uh, but we also provided a separate building, the Dally, who's uh, Thomas Edison's assistant, with affordably pr priced market rate apartments also. So we're really proud that we were able to have high end, high luxury product, as well as affordably priced market rate product on the same site. I love it. It's beautiful. Well. We are really impressed. Thank you for even participating, you know, bring your creativity to the site and congrats. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've been given the honor of announcing our first place winner, Team Disc with Edison Tower. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. That is awesome. Oh my oh. God. Oh, I wish I could hug you guys right now. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. I'm so stoked. Well done. That means so I am so happy oh, for awesome. you guys. Oh, thank you. Good thank job, you guys. so much. Oh my God. I want All everyone in the UREC <laughs> community to know that it's because of these guys last year, I did not sleep. They <laughs> place last year. And I am just so proud of them that they come, came back and won. Well, yeah, thank you for paving the way for us. It, it just feels so good. I, yeah, uh, no words. I'm glad I was added onto the team this year because I really learned a lot from these guys and I hope they can say the same about me. But Absolutely. It was an awesome experience. <laughs> oh my God, that's just this total weight off the chest now. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, uh, you know, on your your effort. It's paid off um, for one recognition, the title, and money. <laughs> yeah, right. It's so, real nice. Yeah, good job, good job, guys. Everyone, great work. You know, I'd love to see, love to see everybody be able to come back from our uh, defeat from Natasha last year and be able to pull it off this year. So I uh, no, appreciate everybody's hard work. That was awesome. You guys are you. You rec winners two years in a row. Like you should be ecstatic. Congrats. I'm very excited. So I just want to ask you a few questions. Are you ready? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I I loved how you considered you know vacancy with the high number of immediate surrounding developments in that area and in downtown Salt Lake. Can you share how that helped drive your business plan? Absolutely. So we really put a lot of time into studying the pipeline uh, and the upcoming projects that were coming into Salt Lake City. 
Um, most of that time was put into the multifamily section of things. Um, as everybody knows, multifamily in Salt Lake City right now is booming. Even with what's going on right now, there are still a lot of units coming on the market. And a large number of those units um, are immediately surrounding our project. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that we incorporated uh, design elements into our project that would give us a cutting edge uh, against those projects, as well as everything else that surrounded um, our project and overall in Salt Lake City. Great. Another question. So you also mentioned phasing the project so that you could pre-lease the office after the apartments were built. Uh, this is a great idea of being in development and seeing the amount of office space coming in. So whose idea was that? Yeah, so I kind of just thought about um, the differences between multifamily and office in the Salt Lake market right now. And obviously, they're both booming at ridiculously high rates. And we just thought that getting the, the multifamily portion online first would help us start that pre-leasing initially. And then as well, it's office space is obviously also uh, thriving right now in Salt Lake. So you really, get, but you still have to take, take into consideration the lease up times for that, which are typically going to be longer than the multifamily portion. And it's a little bit harder to find the specific tenant that would really want to be in this kind of space. So we really thought that we want to have that extra lead time. Where we're able to really look for the right tenant for an environmentally mass timber office building in such a hip downtown space. Great. And you mentioned the mass timber. So final question. Whose idea was it to do lead platinum designation with the mass timber? So can you speak more to the aesthetic of the project and the cost? Yeah, absolutely. So we went through and as a team, we kind of just looked at what the market was lacking. And a lot of that was an environmentally friendly space that really differs from the market and has its own distinct look from the typical like five over two podium that you see on every street corner. So we really wanted to differentiate and we looked at some articles on how we can kind of change the look of the project while still appealing to that uh, huge demographic base in Salt Lake. So we really did uh, think about it from an environmental point of view and mass timber is also really aesthetic and it just kind of fell into our lap one day. We saw an article about it and then we just kind of ran with it and it ends up having uh, some cost benefits involved and as well it helps with the sustainability a lot and it was just kind of the perfect solution to appeal to our tenant base and uh, create a profitable, profitable development. Well, it was perfect. Thank Congrats, you. Congrats, guys. I, again, I'm so proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Thank you. Of course. Thanks Great. so much. Thank you all for attending our 2020 virtual UREC finals. We'd like to express our sincere appreciation to all of our sponsors, Zions Bank, the judges, thanks to our graduate assistants, Kaya, Tanner, and Sarah, and the UREC staff. We look forward to seeing you all next year.